In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Gumroad store. Now before we get started, I'm just going to brief you on what exact topics we'll be covering in this demonstration. So when it comes to creating a Gumroad account or Gumroad store, there are actually five essential steps. First one is to sign up for a Gumroad account. Now the next will be to decide what type of products you'll be listing on your Gumroad store and then you'll be creating individual product pages for these listings. Now, third will be to decide on the pricings of each of these product listings. Fourth will be for setting up your preferred payment method. And lastly, you're going to start promoting your products. So let's begin. Now, of course, the first step will be to create or sign up for a Gumroad account. As you can see from this section, I already have my own Gumroad account and I've already logged in. So the dashboard or the homepage should look something like this. And if we check over this corner or this section, we can see that Gumroad also has their own getting started steps wherein um, you have the first basic actions to do once you've created your account. Now, this list is a bit different from what I mentioned. So we're going to proceed on showing you what the sign up page looks like. So it should look something like this. And as you can see from this page, you can either sign up using Facebook, Google, X, or formerly known as Twitter, Stripe, or alternatively, you can also just input your email and then set up a password. Now, once you sign up for a Gumroad account, they're just going to ask you for a few details about your business, if it's a type of business, and whatever your purpose is for opening a Gumroad account. Now, whenever signing up for a Gumroad account, there are actually just three uh, vital pieces of information to take note of, which is your profile photo, your profile bio, and your username. So once that's done, you will have your own Gumroad account, which we'll be heading back to right now over here, which is the homepage. Now for the second step, you're going to start deciding on what type of products you'll be listing on your Gumroad store. Now for the type of products, it's entirely up to you on deciding what uh, kind of products you're selling. It can be all around. You can have different types of products. You can follow a certain theme depending on your preference. So for example, I'm just gonna head to my products right here on the left side of the screen. And this should show us the list of uh, all the current listed products I have on my account, which totals up to seven. And I have a preset over here, a wall art sample, a website template from Wix, a wallpaper, an annual report template, a recipe or an ebook, and a book outline template. So to get started on listing new products, you can just go ahead and click on the new product button right here. And it should allow you to list your or create your own uh, product listing. So just decide on the name and of course decide on what type of product you're selling. So we have digital product, we have course or tutorial, we have ebooks, memberships, physical goods, or once you have listed a bunch of products, you can start selling in bundles for a discounted price. Now here, we could also already decide for the price of the product. So we're just going to try to input some uh, placeholders so we can proceed. So once you've decided on the nature of the product, you, just, you can just go ahead and click on Next Customize. And it will bring you to this section where you're going to input more details about your product. And it will reflect on the product's individual page. So we have the description, the URL, the custom domain, a cover photo, thumbnail, product info, integrations, uh, pricing again, versions if necessary, and some other settings over here. 
Now, once you're done, just proceed to content and then upload the product or uh, whatever it is you're selling. And then click on publish continue and then it will be listed as your first product. So now I'm just going to go ahead and delete that sample I did. So once you have your product listings, you're going to decide on their pricings. Of course, um, if you're already a known seller, then maybe you can start upping your price a bit. But if you're a beginner, then you should really find that correct balance for the amount that you're selling your products so that uh, the customers will not get overwhelmed with what you're selling. Now for the third step, or no, actually the fourth step, you're going to want to set up your preferred payment method. So to do that, we're just going to go ahead and look for the payouts section right here on the left side of the screen. And if we give that a click, this is where we can get paid. But before we can get paid, we should set up our payment method first. So we're going to go ahead and click on settings and it will take us to the payments setting right here. Now under the payment setting, we can either set up a bank account, a Stripe or PayPal. So these are the only three methods of payment for Gumroad. So when it comes to bank account, Gumroad only supports a few uh, countries when it comes to uh, getting paid directly to your bank account. So there's a list that Gumroad provides that they directly support for uh, direct bank payments. So for example, I'm in the Philippines and Philippines is one of the countries listed in Gumroad for direct bank, direct bank payment. So I can go ahead and set that up. Now, if your country isn't listed for direct bank payment, you can choose to set up your Stripe account. Now, Stripe will be available in all the countries where Stripe operates, except for Brazil, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Mexico, Philippines, and Thailand. Now, if Stripe isn't available in your country as well, your last bet is to set up a PayPal account. Again, if you don't have a PayPal account and your country is not supported and Stripe isn't available there, you cannot get paid unless you use PayPal. So those are your three options. Just choose which one best suits your circumstance. And then once you set that up, you can already start getting paid and earn from your product listings. Now for the last step, we're going to have to promote our products eventually to get more uh, traffic, internet traffic, and to boost our product sales. So to do that, we can just go ahead and look for the product that we wish to promote. So for example, we have the Medibank preset right here. And if we click the products page, we can see that there is this copy product URL link right here. And if we click on that, it'll be copied on the clipboard. And then we can start sharing this link to our social media or via email blast or whatever else platform we wish to promote our product into. But since nowadays, uh, social media is a very vital tool for marketing and for promotions, it's best to take advantage of this by sharing it on your Facebook, uh, so, uh, Instagram, X, or whatever else uh, social media platforms you have. It'll also be helpful if your Gumroad store has their own or have their own pages in the social media so that you have different platforms to promote your products into. So basically that's how uh, promoting via social media works. Or you can also make use of Gumroad's email list. So if we check emails right here, or actually we can go to workflows. So we have a subscriber email list right here. You can start creating your own workflow, wherein if a person subscribes, or maybe if they start purchasing a specific product, then they'll be triggered to have 
this uh, automated email list where they'll be sent certain emails after uh, maybe a day or two after subscribing or buying something where you can put in an email for uh, promoting your other products, something like that. So that's how the subscriber email list works or an email list, basically. So those are the ways you can promote your product. And as a last bit of information, if you wish to edit your profile a bit more, um, Gumroad doesn't really offer a lot of uh, leeway to editing your account, but there are actually ways to personalize your Gumroad store a bit. So if we check this uh, left side of the screen right here and scroll all the way down, we can find our name at the bottom. There should be a drop down, And if we give that a click, we can go to our profile. And then here, if we look for the pencil icon, we can edit our profile and then we can keep changing our details. So for example, username or name, bio, logo, we can connect social links and we can edit the design a little bit. So for the design, we can just choose from their predetermined fonts right here. And we can also change the background color and the highlight color. And that's about it. That's how you create a Gumroad store. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.